InfoWars WS Pro has built-in functionality to keep track of where the data come from and who last manipulated that data. Simply go to the database setting and choose user-defined flag to choose between a series of default flags or simply add your custom flag as I'm doing here. I can simply activate the data flagging and choose the flag that I want to use for the specific user. For now, going forward, the software will automatically track who made the change. For example, here, we're going to change the pipe diameter and you can see that user file that made this change. Often, the data that we import needs a bit of tidy up before it can be used for simulation. As a result, we can use tracing tool to highlight disconnected part of the network. This pipe, for example, if we zoom in, we have two nodes in close proximity and this is quite common when we import information from external asset registry. InfoWars WS Pro provides advanced tool to locate nodes in close proximity, so for example here within a radius of 0.5 meters, and to merge the, mod, the two nodes into a single node to re-establish the connectivity. So, if we zoom back to the previous point, we can see that the pipe is now connected to the system and if I rerun the connectivity trace, I can see that I have our only system. SQL queries are available inside InfoWars WS Pro to effectively manipulate the network and query the result. Within the Model Explorer, we can find a user-defined query and use a dialog that will support us in the definition of the query. For example, we want to select the customer point that have the pressure below 5 meters. We use the dialog to create our own query and then we will put down the condition of less than 5 minutes. We can test if the syntax is written correctly and then we can run the query to select the customer point into the geoplan. From now going forward, the, seal, the query is saved so you can simply drag the query into the geoplan. We can define as many queries as you want, so just to give you an example, here we are looking, creating a summary of the pressure containing the number of nodes within a certain range, or we can use a query to, instead of selecting, to actually count the number of customer points where the pressure is below 5 meters. Once I have defined my own query, I can share a query with other users within my community. So I can define a user custom action, give it a name, and then drag the query that I have defined into the custom action menu. From now going forward, there will be a button within the UI that all the user can press to run the query. Alongside with the 2D view, InfoWars allows to view the data on a long section profile. There's a specific tool to just select the pipe and the software will automatically display in a long profile section. Some of the nodes here have missing elevations, so we can use inference tool to, add, to define the elevation based on the node in close proximity. There's a specific inference here that we can select and we can use flag to keep track that this information comes from this specific inference. We simply drag the inference into the geoplan and you can see that the elevation has already been sorted out. So this operation could take a while, but it can be all automated using Enforced Areas Pro. The advanced technology that is built around InfoWars WS Pro allows the user to keep track of all the changes that were performed during the time. While we work with the model, we need to apply a lot of change, like here, for example, we're changing the pipe roughness. All the changes must be committed to the master database, and alongside with the commit, we can also apply a description. The software keeps track of all the commits that were performed in the past and who committed them, and it's always possible to go back to a previous version and look at what was happening at a specific point in time. Generalized multi-run move InfoWars WS Pro into the field of the risk management. A generalized multi-run is a wizard that we can use to define a lot of different scenarios. In this example, we are going to assess the criticality of the path. This wizard allows to choose a selection of pipes or paths, like in this example, and change the control for this specific object in the selection. In here, we're going to change the opening to and set it to zero. So you can see that we have a long list of pipes here that we are going to simulate the closure and assess the result based on a SQL query that will count the duration and the total number of customer points where the pressure is below 5 meters. 
within the run dialog we can say tick the generalized multi run option run the simulation and then we can edit the summary report the summary report can be generated and created by test case and then we can apply specific function so in this example we will have a column with the count and a column with the duration of customer affected by the valve closure the same grid can also be open and viewed as a summary in the geoplan. So we can right click in the geoplan and define a theme to color code the pie based on their criticality and the criticality is defined on the total duration. The Open Data Import Center can be used to keep the model up to date or to build the model from external GIS layer. Within the Open Data Input Center, we can use different data source and we have to cross match the information that are in the external asset registry with the information that we have in the InfoWars database. In order to do this, we can use a config file that we can save and therefore recall all the time that we need to perform a model update or model build. In this example, we're simply import node pipe and customer point but the, there are a lot of information that we can import using the open data import center including controls. If we want to automate the model maintenance we can use script to perform the model maintenance automatically. So we can run a BAT file that will automatically update the model, run a simulation and you, if I refresh my tree explorer you can see that I have a new model group with my run that was created from the script that I can open as a summary result in the geoplan and look at the result. This graph is comparing the result from a manual and automated update and they are exactly the same. Infowars WS Pro open, offer open connection to external database. A live data configuration object can be used to establish the connection with several different types of database, including SQL Server and Oracle. Then once we have established the connection, we can define the list of streams that we are measuring out on the field that we can actually query to make sure that we are actually retrieving data. And then we can create live data point to cross match the external telemetry feed with the object on our model. We can then select the live data points on the geoplan and we can plot side by side on the same graph the result alongside with the telemetry information. A group observed versus predicted grid will automatically highlight part of the network where the calibration doesn't match the criteria that we have defined within the option. InfoWars WS Pro provides the ability to run simulation using remote agent. Within the water supply client, we can define uh, the coordinator setting, including the possibility to define different model groups where we can run the simulation. And then within the run dialog, we will choose if we want to run the simulation on this local computer, on any machine, or give the simulation to the coordinator, which will then split the simulation up to the different remote agents that are available. When we start the simulation, you can see that the software will do an, an initialization of the run first. It's going to take a couple of seconds, and then all the simulation will be performed in parallel. Multiple simulation can be performed in multiple core within the same agent. Multiple agent can be used to perform multiple simulation in parallel. So when we have composite run like critical link analysis, like generalized multi-run, having the possibility to use all these power is going to improve the performance.